Wow, that's heavy. Very old lineage. Very old. There's a breed of chicken out here in Sri Lanka. In my opinion, the closest resemblance to a dinosaur in the modern age. They're just making it on top of our house. Yeah. No one will believe it. This is basically your roof under here. Yeah. Man, this is so cool. This looks like dragon scales. Look at that. I've never seen a chicken with legs like that. This color is very nice in Sri Lanka also. Yeah. They don't, they don't have this quality. This is paper white. This one, even the eyes are like white. This can be sold for a very big price. That is a scary chicken. <laughs> this is a big bird. This is called Sitare Puli. It's like spots. See, this beak has already been curved. There are good birds than this also. This is a good quality bird. You can see a big difference from the one upstairs. This one's really like a parrot beak. Look at his eyes. Oh my God. He's full black. Even his meat is also black. Ah! See? Boy. That's a chicken moving inside? I don't know, maybe it's just me who's getting excited about this, but this is like one of the most interesting things I've ever experienced. Like, you wouldn't think that an animal like this exists nowadays. And it does. Hey, so before this episode pops off, I just want to mention a huge thanks to tuktukrental.com for sponsoring our entire series here in Sri Lanka. The people behind tuktukrental.com are the reason why we were able to travel the entire country and bring you the incredible stories we have been able to during this series. tuktukrental.com is your one-stop shop for booking and planning your entire trip around Sri Lanka and then obviously renting an incredible tuk-tuk and traveling around this incredible nation. Sri Lanka is such a fun place to travel to, but it's even more fun when you're able to travel with your own tuk-tuk. So definitely check out tuktukrental.com in the description below. Vato? Ah, we're not in Vato land, we're in ah. Vatala. Vatala. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sri Lanka. We are... Catch yourself. We're in a small suburb outside of Colombo called Vatala. We're here to visit Vatala Parrot Beak Breeders. This is a video I have been very, very excited to shoot. You guys may have seen our video in Vietnam with a Dong Tao chicken. There's a breed of chicken out here in Sri Lanka that costs a lot of money, like a lot of money. And we're coming to explore because this chicken looks like a damn dinosaur. And I've connected with a few people online a couple months ago that have been so sweet and friendly. And uh, well, we're coming to meet them for the first time now and to explore this amazing business and lifestyle that they have. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Nice to meet you, nice to see you. Maybe you guys can introduce yourself. What's your name? Where are you guys from? I'm Sharfan. I'm Sharhan. Uh, he's my father. Yeah, Sharfan and Sharhan? Yeah. And my father. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you guys do? Uh, we are breeding Indian parrot beak local seal, and our company name goes as Vattala Parrot Beak Breeders Private Limited. We have the Indian long tail, original bird from Tamil Nadu, India. So, this is a, a really interesting video topic because I actually got in touch with Sharfan and Sharhan. I would say almost around a year ago, maybe maybe eight months ago, because I was actually interested in buying one of these chickens. And the process of getting it imported to where I was at was a bit of a hectic process. But I told them when I come back to Sri Lanka, I want to meet you guys and I want to make a video about your place. So today we're basically going to tour the facility and explore what it's like to run a business like this with chickens that are very, very special. So shall we go in? Do we go in from here, from around, from over there? Upstairs in the house. So it's your, it's your personal house you live in and then on top is the farm. Yeah, that's a breeding farm. Okay. Now I think most people, when they think of a chicken farm, they think the farm needs to be like agricultural land, like grass. But you guys are doing it in the neighborhood, like concrete. No, it would be better like we do it in an agricultural way. Mm -hmm. But you know, like we live in the city. Right. So we don't have much space. Yeah. And recently we bought a space. So in that area we have, so like we have grass, trees and everything. But we started our business on top of our house. On top of the house. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> there are so many houses. Like it's, it's, not, it's not like the village area. It's a very urban area. Like you can see as many houses stacked on top of each other, very close to each other. So this is your way to run this business successfully, is just putting it but on But you top. know, like, we have, you know, on top of us, like, we have kept friends, we have given them all, all the facilities. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go, guys. Once we enter here, we enter a new world. This is probably something that you, most of you watching have never seen in your life. You've probably never heard about this. But I want you to quickly, I'll probably pull up an image right now. There's a dinosaur called the Oviraptor. Uh, if you haven't seen it or haven't put a picture up, Google it real quick. What you're about to see is probably, in my opinion, the closest resemblance to a dinosaur in the modern age that exists maybe besides a cassowary. Okay. 
So this is the back of your house, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my God, man. Look at these chickens. We are just making it on top of our house. Yeah. No one will believe it. This is basically your roof under here. Yeah. Wow. Man, this is so cool. <laughs> I've seen videos and pictures of these guys that are fun and Charhan have been sending me over the course of the last year. But nothing compares to standing next to this animal right now. Wow. This is amazing. They're so big. You guys tell me right now, you've ever seen a chicken that looks like that in your life? Probably not. People who are not involved in the chicken world don't really understand how special of a chicken this is. And obviously I'm gonna let Charfan explain like more about the chicken later, but just take a look at that. So, okay, let me ask you a stupid question. This chicken, yeah. you did this to the chicken, the beak, or this is natural? No, no, this is, uh, they call it Kilimuku Isrival. Kilimuku means a Tamil word, which means parrot beak. Parrot beak. Parrot beak. And this is originally from Tamil Nadu, southern, from India, Tamil Nadu. And you didn't cut this with a knife. This no. is how he's born. Yes. This is the breed. This is the breed. This is what it looks like. It's an amazing, look at that. This it looks like the, a dinosaur. This is called the Uchipu. Uchipu? Yeah, I told you Uchipu. The what an amazing animal, huh? You've never seen one of these before, no, huh? First time. And this is called the Kiri color. Kiri color, red kiri. Wow. And Sharfan, let me ask you the most important question, which I'm sure many people want to know. If somebody wanted to buy a chicken like this, how much does a chicken like this cost? Uh, depending on their quality and color, this female will cost from $400 to $600, up to $800 also. Up to $800. Yeah. And they get even more expensive than that. Yes, if they if this is a, a exactly. top quality egg laying female, if if it is demanded a very very rare color, it can be sold for thousand dollars also. Wow. Like colors like this. This is called the same kiri. Is this a highly desired color? This yes, one. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it has spots and. And Sharhan has brought over. This is our best wow. This guy is a monster. Look at him. Look at that. Tail. Wow. Oh, it's in the brooding stage, so all the tails it has. This is a male. Yeah, it's a male rooster. This was directly imported from India. We got it down from India. Oh, so this one you guys didn't raise him. This one was directly no, brought no, from no. India. We bought it from chicks. Oh, this one from chicks. Yeah. Wow. Look at the comb, right? It's it's like it's it's, it's the shape of the ball. Unbelievable. The eyes, the beak. And there is no like ears. Are like, these chickens very used to you? Or are they aggressive? Are they aggressive usually, or they're very relaxed? It's very relaxed, really. So we, once a week we used to give them a wash. So like it's very friendly with us. Once a week. Once a week, yeah. Every weekend. Look at these legs, man. They're huge. Yeah. Look at that. It's a monster. <laughs> it's so crazy. You know, even when he walks, he walks like a king. Yeah. Is this one one of your favorites? This yeah. guy. This is like, this is the, a double body female. Double body? Yeah, look at the leg. Size of the leg. Wow, dude, this looks like dragon scales. <gasps> look at that. I've never seen a chicken with legs like that. This is very old. Very old? Yeah, three, four years old. Very old lineage. Look at that face. Very big head, too. Just carry and see how big it is. Wow, that's heavy. <laughs> Oh my god. I have to be honest, it's been a dream for me to... This will lay only uh, 8 to 12 eggs within four, 4 months. In 4 months? Yeah. So every year, how many eggs can you get for someone like her? Less than 40, like 20 to 30 eggs. Just in one year? Yes. And then how many of those eggs will become a chicken? Maybe 10. Maybe 10. So this is not an easy thing to breed this chicken. Yeah. That's why this is rare. Very rare chicken. I mean, you tell me the uncanny resemblance to a dinosaur. That is unbelievable. You know, the depiction of dinosaurs these days in the world, they've changed immensely. A lot of people know dinosaurs had feathers now. But, I mean, this is really, really close to an over after dinosaur. It's absolutely amazing. It's actually, it's actually a dream to be holding this chicken. Like, we, re we remove the tail when, when they're breeding. Because it gets in the way of the breeding process. Yes. Wow. Look at this color. 
call the booty color. Is this a male? Female. Female. Uh, they call the booty color in India. Like the, it's like the color of the blue. Wow. <laughs> Uh, this color it's very rare in Sri Lanka also. Yeah. We don't we don't have this quality. Like we are the first time breeding. First this time color. breeding something like this. Yeah. And this color, Look like, at that. Look at that. Look at that beak. Look at that face. It's crazy. Even this is an imported bloodline. Uh huh. So this one you imported as a chick. Yeah. It's very hard. It was very hard for us to get this color. You know. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> It took three years to get this color. Like, Unbelievable. Just from breeding and breeding and breeding. This is called, uh, cook, they say booty, booty color. This is, this is jet black. Cold jet black. black. Female, yeah. See the... See the comb also black. And the beak also, the beak huh? beak also black. Wow. Even the legs, legs are also black. Maybe, maybe you guys can show me like what is the most expensive chicken in here if you were to sell one. Because these are are these all your breeder chickens? All these these are breeding farms. So these chickens are not for sale. The ones in here. Not for sale, but if it is demanded for a big price, you will sell it. Okay, if it's demanded for a big price, you sell. But this one is my favorite. I saw so far. It's a beautiful chicken. This is paper white. This is Look at that animal. That is such a beautiful animal. This can be sold for a very big price. Uh, at least my price for this is thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yes. For Maybe this. even more. Even more. Yeah. Pure Tamil Nadu. The face has to look very nice. If you know, like, if it is has like a beak, like a parrot, it's not parrot beak. Their face has to be nice. Their comb, their eyes, their legs has to be thick legs. And their tail. See, look at their tail. They have to have tubes. I mean, even this one, even the eyes are like white, like a very bright color. Look at that. It's amazing. This is like a perfect chicken, huh? Yeah. But again, this one is not for sale. Not for sale, but if it is offered for a big price, we might sell it. For around $1,000. Yeah. And this is, I told you, Uchipu. Oh, with the comb. Yeah. It, you know, personally, I like this Uchipu. They are the beautiful flower. Like, see, look at the, how beautiful it is. It's like a crown, you know? Yeah. Wow. So when they when they become big, even this comb it gets bigger. Yeah. So he's still young, this one? This is seven, six, 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 seven months. Six, seven months. What? Really? Yeah. It's a huge chicken for six, seven months. Wow. Look at that tail also now with see? Look at the tail. Crazy. <laughs> so how many generations of chickens do you guys have in here right now? Two generations. Two, two generations. Two generations. Yeah, four to five years. This is pure Tamil Nadu breed. Pure Tamil Nadu. Mm-hmm. Look at this one. Wow. Look at his uh his comb thing. It's so bulbous. This fish is still small. It's seven to eight months now. Still it's needs still. to grow more. And look at the tail. So long this tail, huh? Crazy. They say um uh, Visirival, like uh, it has to have a tail like a peacock. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. <laughs> It's really nice when it walks. Yeah. <laughs> they will fight sometimes, the males? They will try to fight? Yeah, they yeah. fight. Very aggressive. Very aggressive chicken, huh? He looks he looks very aggressive, this guy. <laughs> what is this chicken looks like a human being? No, he's, uh... This is a uh, booty color rooster. Gray color. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hair is super shiny. It's crazy, huh? I've never seen anything like this before. Look at this chick, he's so weird. <laughs> he has mutation problem. He has mutation? Ah, he's back. Yes. Ah. So he's not 100% okay. Yeah. So, kept fans, you know? Yeah, keep, keep it them. keep it nice in here. Yeah, you know, keep them body cool. This one is... This color, the blue, is not natural. That's a, you, you. No, no, uh, that's a medicine. Medicine. So this bird, uh, you know, this female. This female started fighting with another female. Uh -huh. you know, it, it got wounded here, and its beak is also broken, yeah, as you can see. Yeah. So now the new beak is coming. 
Yeah. Oh, so if they break their beak, it will grow back. Yeah, it takes two months. Three two months, months wow. The, for their beak to grow, like wow. so once the beak is broken, you know they can't eat or anything. So we had to feed them by hand. So these are all our medicine, method in spray mm -hmm. to get the wound uh, healed very quickly. Mm -hmm. This is a very good female. Very good female. Yeah. Very good parrot beak. Nice color, eh? Pure yeah. White. Yeah, maybe you can show me how it works with the breeding setup. So this is a breeding room? Breeding room, yeah. We you put one male with two female? One male, two females, yes. One booty color female. And they say comedy, cocoa color. What's the logic behind mixing how does it work you, if you mix one color with another color you have a higher chance of higher chance yes this this male it has so many colors here uh -huh. you can see it has gold it has spots cocoa color everything so when you mix do the color with this there is high chance of getting do the cocoa you know different different colors uh -huh. this is a pure cocoa female so you might get you might get red cocoa blue cocoa mm -hmm. i understand like yeah, you know, we had to, you know, we had to put different, different roosters, females, and we had to check. To keep what are testing the things. Testing, yeah. what are the Look at this color. You guys understand already the genetics of the chicken? Like, if you mix this color or this color, you know what you're going to get? Yeah. Or it's always a surprise? No, we, we mix it like this. Now, for I this, sh I showed you the blue color. Can we, maybe we can move out to the better, better I light. I showed you the blue color, right? Yeah. This is the darker version of that color. You can see it. Oh, wow. Yeah, it look was, at this. This was a lighter version. I showed you one. Mm -hmm. This color is dark. Wow. So if you, in this in this same color, if you wanted to have this boody cover, boody kiri, they say. this is kiri and this is boody. Now if you want to have boody kiri, then you have to cross this boody color with this kiri male. And then maybe one baby will come out like this, or boody. for sure. One color like this, a very rare color called the boody kiri. Boody kiri. Yeah. So this is kiri color. Black. This is called black kiri. Wow. Look at the baby. That's a beautiful bird right there. That's crazy. <laughs> So this one, maybe you, these two, males, females. females, these two have different parrot beaks, right? This beak, this face is different from this face, yes. but it's the same, same breed of chicken. Same bloodline, different bloodline have different face. Uh -huh. in, in parrot beak, there are two types, I will show you. One is called the Andhra breed and one is Tamil Nadu breed. Okay. This is pure Tamil Nadu, I will show you, I will show you Andhra breed. And this is? Tamil Nadu breed. Tamil Nadu, but yeah. very different looking. Like this one is more sharp, and this one is more rounded. Yeah. yeah. That's why these birds are expensive. Like every even even though she lay twelve legs, not everything will become hundred quality, hundred percent quality. Uh -huh. So when you say parrot beak, it's not only about the face. Yeah. Their eyes, you know, ears, you no know, hanging parts, everything. Even their tail, it should be like this. See how long the tail is. It should be very long. And you guys, everything you guys breed here is only parrot beak. Yeah. Like even these little babies here, these are all parrot beak. Yeah, yeah. And we have Karaknath also. Karaknath. Yeah, I'll show you. That's for fun we have. Just for fun. <laughs> it's full black. No, it's full very black. interesting, the color. It's very nice to see and they're very active. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this is an asyl fighting rooster. Not a parrot beak. Not a My beak. friend gifted me from India. Oh, wow. All three of them? No, no, only the rooster. And you're crossbreeding them? Crossbreeding, yes. I haven't seen a tall rooster like this in Sri Lanka. I haven't seen a tall rooster like this in my life. He's huge. Very big, very big. That is a scary chicken. <laughs> it's a big bird. This is called Indian fighting acid. India fighting Asil. Look at that chicken. Look at the head. It's so red. Aggressive or he's... This one, this one, it fought with another rooster and killed it. Wow. So much aggressive. Very strong. Yeah, it's a big bird. Huh? Very heavy. Very heavy, huh? Wow. How... Is he really heavy? He's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? What did they feed you? Huh? So if, if you breed him with a parrot beak, it will be it will be very, very, very big, like very strong parrot beak. We are we, this is the first time we are trying this. We are uh -huh. crossing with a parrot beak and we'll see what type of chicks we are getting. And he's a totally different chicken, huh? The face is completely different, different from parrot beak. Yeah. 
He's so strong. Yeah, there's legs, there's claws. Look at this. Have you guys ever been injured by the chickens? A lot of many times. Yeah? Yeah. It's sometimes there are some roosters, they hit us. Is it is it ever dangerous? Not dangerous. Never da like can they ever attack your neck or your eyes no. or no, some it's not like a dinosaur. You know some roosters, you know, when they when you put it with the female, like when you go near them, they get scared that they are coming to take the female from them. Uh huh. So you know this this mark says this this male is very aggressive. Uh huh. So when when, when the female lays egg, so when I go to take the egg, that male comes and he takes me. <laughs> so he's protecting his wife, you know, yeah. his female. He's protecting wow. her. This is the main breeding facility up here. This is, a breeding facility. this is technically the most important part of your operation is yeah, up here, right? Yeah. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more about like the business model that you guys have going here. So you breed these chickens and you guys sell them only in Sri Lanka? We sell them in local, we sell it locally also. We need new breeders and when we export to other countries. Export to other countries? Yes. Like where have you guys sold these chickens to? I have exported to Pakistan and uh, we, export, we have exported to uh, Iraq, Egypt. Wow. And uh, we, are, we are trying for other new countries also. And we are trying to Jordan and uh, another, you know, the African country, Africa, yeah, those countries we are trying our best mm -hmm. to export these birds. They have a high, uh, a high desirability around the world. People it, really want them. These birds are, brother, it's a rare bird. More, I think in all, all over the world, only 10% or 20% of the people know they have birds like this. Wow. Not most, not everyone knows. Yeah. Yeah. Even even the in, in, India government is also they are trying their best to protect these birds. They have organizations for these birds. To, just to protect it. They are they, this is like native breed. This bird is origin from Tamil Nadu. Yeah. yeah so they ha they they have uh, competitions. They have even from India they invited us for a competition. For they offered us free flight ticket, free room, free everything. They wanted only us to just come and join their competition. Just to see. Just to see. Only they told us to apply for the visa, but you know we don't have anyone working here. We only me, we three of us only working here. Only you, your father, and Jarhan. Yes. Yeah, this is Andhra breed. I told you. Yeah. Wow. Well, very different. Very very difficult. Yeah. Feel like a parrot. You know, it it find difficult to eat. Uh, to so yeah. So you you were saying this breed is not a not a good one, or it is a good one. This is uh, not a good breed. This, this, you know, this bird is uh, eight, nine months. I showed you a seven month Tamil Nadu bird. Yeah. Did you see how big it is? Huge. It was huge. But see, this bird, uh, six, seven months, always medicine, medicine. See, not, not big as like She's skinny. That skinny. Yeah. This bird has to be always in medicine. Uh huh. You know, they are not, they, they are, every time when there is a climate change or anything, they get sick. But these birds have only, these, these type of birds have high demand. High demand. High demand. And you were saying that they don't live a very long time. They live on like one year, one point five years to two years. And average a regular parrot bicasil like Tamil Tam Nadu breed, uh, they live at least six to seven years. There are birds which have grown up to ten years old. Ten years old. Yeah. And then like, what about a regular chicken? How long can they live? Like a broiler chicken or normal chicken, same like that. Seven. Seven to ten years. So basically, the Tamil Nadu breed is, is the, the better breed for parrot. The Andhra breed. Yeah. Okay. Point head. This, this type of this breed. You know, when they drink water, the water goes inside, you know, that's why we keep the water on top of something like this. Uh -huh. So, they find it easy to drink water and they put only the beak and drink the water, uh -huh. not their whole face. This, this is Tamil Nadu beak. But not parrot beak, or it is parrot beak? It's a parrot beak. The beak is broken, you know, even we started fighting with another rooster. You know, even this male's beak is broken, but look at the tail quality. Underbeats, some of the other beats will not have quality tail like this. They will be shorter. They will be shorter. And not, parrot beak has to be, you know, it's, it's called a bodybuilder. Mm. They, their body is, everything is different. So it has to be muscular, you know. Just be, <laughs> Just be very big, huh? Like even when they walk, like they had to walk like a bodybuilder, you know. With the chest out. Chest yeah. out, you know. They have a lot, a lot of pride. See, 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 see his action, it's attitude. very nice. Oh, the attitude, everything is different. No, one year. One year. <laughs> well, see the size of it. Yeah. He's smaller, a lot yeah. smaller. But, like a parrot. See? Yeah. Beautiful, no? Yeah, the face so different. When you have a lot of birds and having something, one or two pieces like this is like a, like, it's a favorite for us. Yeah. 
So you guys really love this chicken. We love this. But but you say he's only one year old, so this is the end of his life already. Uh, he will most likely he will die within, soon. Yeah, within two years, we can't expect that. Anytime he will, he will die soon. And they die because of disease, or just that's how they die. No, like, oh. you know they get sick every time. When they are sick, we have to give them medicine. If uh -huh. they don't take proper care, they die very quickly. Okay. So you know, too much medicines also will not make them strong. They become they make them thin. Yeah. Called Kiri color. Kiri. Kiri. Yes. This Kiri color female, if you cross it with a pondrum or a grey color female, you will have different colors. And this is an example of a good tail, no? Or not so good? It is not so good. Not tail. so good? Yeah. We want to give you guys an overview of the whole farm. I like the, the breeding setup. Yeah. Okay. So this is the breeding setup. Yeah, this is one setup. Mm hmm. Yeah, I have put one, that is called the pondrum color, mm -hmm. the rooster. Okay, I have put one boozy female and one cocoa female. Uh, this is the first time they are laying eggs, inshallah, they will start laying eggs soon. And this rooster, the male one, I got it from India, I told you. Yeah. My friend gifted me. And I have two females for him. Okay, so one parrot big female and one acyl female. Mm -hmm. Another rooster, Java color rooster. Java? Java color. It's the traditional color. Uh huh. And one pondrum female and one brown female for him. And he's also very aggressive. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. He doesn't <laughs> let us go in his female, you know? <laughs> he will attack, keeps him behind. <laughs> What about these guys up here? This one's very cute. I like this one. <laughs> so these are females, you know. Uh, he started fighting with another chick yesterday. Uh -huh. So I have kept him separate. Just separating them yeah. for now. So, you know, this, even this female, you know, I'm giving him a little pair. You know, he start, she started fighting. The beak right. was broken. So I'm giving her some extra. And pair. maybe you can explain what is this one? Uh, that's the bottle where we can put, put, put water. Water for them? Yeah. And here, this shelf? Yeah. This is like veterinary materials? We have our veterinary stuff. Uh -huh. so these are some of the veterinary. Like, Just some stuff. some stuff. Some like medicines, maybe you need an emergency situation. This is also another breeding setup. In two, three months. You know, I have kept the female with the male now. Uh -huh. So by the time when they come for breeding, you know, the female will he'll, she'll be with the male, you know? Uh -huh. So these are all these setups here. This is just different breeding setups. Different breeding setups. Yeah. Okay. You know, for one male, I usually put two females or one female. You know? uh -huh. So you have put you know sea sand here, as you can see. Sea sand. Can, can you can you smell anything? You don't. No, it doesn't smell bad here. You know, you know, every day we used to clean. We used to like once a week or twice a week. We used to groom everything. We used to take the dirt out. Yeah, all of you guys are running the whole operation. Yes, my father is giving me thank you, doesn't smell anything. Yeah, you and you guys built all of this by hand. Yeah, all these uh, hollow blocks, all the bricks here. No, the brick one we we have mason for that. The cages and everything we built. You built it. Yes. You know this setup, this cage setup, everything it was done by my father, uh -huh. and we helped him. Yeah, these are these are other breeding setup. This fan it turns every 24 hours it will run. You know, Always on. Because you know this room it's very you know it's very hot you know these days it's summer season. Summer summer in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Here one for this room I have put kept two females. Mm -hmm. So look at the look at the body of that male. Huge. Huge, eh? He's actually massive. Massive. Look at that. Look at the tail. Okay. Look at the tail, body. It's like, you know, it's like David bodybuilder. He <laughs> <laughs> gave us 12 eggs and she started brooding from yesterday. So right now she's sitting on eggs? Should I open the case for you? Yeah. So we can have a look.
and she gives us very good chicks. You guys know her already that she's going to give you good chicks. Yeah, last time she gave us very good amount of chicks. Yeah, that's amazing. We keep uh, the eggs in our incubator. Okay, that's a different facility, the incubator. Yeah, because when we keep eggs for them, they become thin and uh, they don't eat properly. They become unhealthy. So you want to make sure to not inconvenience the chicken. You take the eggs and you incubate them and, and you let these guys live their life normally. This is egg, just random egg? Black fever, she might have laid the eggs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes they just lay eggs randomly. Yeah, randomly. So that's a parrot beak asil egg. Yeah. Fresh from today? Yeah, today. And this one will go into the incubator? Incubator, yes. Yeah, okay. That's tiny, huh? Yeah, very small egg. Smaller than your average. Organic. <laughs> Organic. <laughs> Organic egg. So this one, this, this also has a value, this egg. Yeah, I have sold eggs like twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, thirty dollars for one egg. One egg, yeah. Imagine, chicken eggs usually are a couple cents, not even one dollar. And no, so I these given, eggs. You know, I have given eggs to Turkey, uh, Africa, uh, Iraq. You send them in bulk, many eggs. Yeah, they, so, so most of them they have visited us. Yeah. I mean, even Pakistan, one of the customers, all the way he came from Sri Lanka. To get the eggs, he came, he spent money on ticket fees. I came here, he took eggs. He, he took 30 eggs from us. Back to Pakistan. Pakistan. He got 10 chicks. Wow. Wow, amazing. Have you, have you seen this color? Yeah, he showed it to me earlier. But yeah, no, but not, not a long tail. She's laying eggs now, eh? Uh -huh. Oh, so that's why you cut the tail. This is called Senkiri. It's very rare color. This one? This one, yeah. Very valuable. Very valuable, yes. So I have put with the blue male. I'm, I'm trying for, you know, uh, red and blue mix. You're hoping to get a very beautiful chicken. Very beautiful. Wow. Oh my God. This is called Sitare Kuli. That's a beautiful... Can I hold this one? Yeah. That is a beautiful chicken. Look at that color scheme. It's like spots. This one is, what's it called? Sitare Kuli. Sitra Puli, Puli Indian name. Does Puli mean dots? dots. Puli means dots. Yeah. And Sitra? Sitra, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> Sitra means red, red Wow. Color. Do you it's have color, more right? chickens that look like this one? Or this is very rare? We exported two colors to Pakistan. Wow. It looks like a color of the eco. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, that's an amazing color. Look at the head. <laughs> what a crazy looking animal. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me who's getting excited about this, but this is like one of the most interesting things I've ever experienced. Like, you, you wouldn't think that an animal like this exists nowadays. And it does. This is a very old breed of chicken, no? Like thousands of years old? Uh, not thousands of years, but uh, they say this is a hybrid breed in India. Uh -huh. Like, Asils, uh, they have more than 2,000 years. Asils, like yeah. the one you have outside, yeah. the big one. Yes, Asils meaning it's an Arabic word for pure breed, original. Uh -huh. Asil. Yeah, under Asils only, these parrot beak also come. Uh -huh. So this is one of the original pure breeds? Of Asils. Of Asils. Yeah. So maybe not thousands of years old, but maybe a couple hundred years old. Or I'm not sure about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's hard to get the history. Actually, I... Because I've been searching in the history, it's difficult. Difficult. Yeah. I agree. I, I looked up also. I couldn't find anything. And so, I spoke to so many Indians also, but, you know, even they don't know very well about the history. You know? Yeah. They have to find some very old readers. I think the information is maybe not so well documented, you know? Like maybe it's just something that's been passed down from they generation say, to generation. They say the Indian kings, they, they had these birds. Uh -huh. But I, I've been Googling it, Googling it, but no information about this parrot beak too yeah. much. Look at that color though, it's crazy. Crazy, so cool, man. What, what an amazing experience to be able to hold and touch these birds. <laughs> it's so cool. All, all, all these are breeding set okay? Everything here. Everything is very So the whole purpose of this top level, this is your operation. This is where this is where all the magic happens. Oh, yeah. It's up here. Yeah. It's a breeding setup. But so here you also this is also where you will collect eggs. Yeah. So the eggs are laid in these and you just take them and incubate. and incubate them immediately. And wait, maybe you guys can explain also like what about what about all these chickens that are just roaming around here? What if they run away? Like these are all worth a lot of money also, no? Or not so much? You see, it's really secure. You know, we have put parapet walls around our house. Uh-huh. Even, see, even... Oh, yeah, 
And you guys don't worry about like cats or dogs coming up in here and eating them or snakes. No. I mean, we're in Sri Lanka. There's a lot of animals. The eagles. You don't have to worry about it. You guys are always here. Yeah. We're going to talk about this later in the video about the business and how much hard work these guys put into it. But I, yeah, you guys are very, very dedicated to this job, no? It's very important to you guys. So, but all of these have the potential to grow up to be really expensive chickens. Yes. You guys, you just don't know yet, or you know? This is two, three months. Two, three months. Another five, six months, he might be a good bird. Okay. You know, these two, don't know, he'll be in which country. <laughs> both, both are pure white. Both are pure white. Pure white. No, pure white is the highest demand now. So, and right now, you guys just let them grow, you let them live their life. And then maybe in five, six months, you can tell if they're going to be a very expensive bird. Yes. Amazing. And you have many out here. These are all baby chicks. Yes. How, how, how old these guys are? Two months, uh, one, one month. One, one month. Five months yeah. This is their cage, a tree house for them. So cute. Is it possible to see one, like to get a shot of it? Or is it hard to catch them? No, no, no. I'll send them the other side. Look at that one, he's a big one. Almost, almost two months now. Is there a lot of difficulty in raising them? Raising these chickens at such a young age? It's, you know, like in small age, you know, like you have to look after them very fast. Uh, yeah, this is a, like there is better quality than this also. Uh -huh. So here you can already tell that it's not going to be the best paired beak, or no, you don't know. This is like a, it's, a, it's like a Tamil Nadu breed. You know, when the, this bird gets bigger, it will have a good beak because see now it has a short beak. Uh huh. So you can tell by the size of its beak now. Yeah, because see this bird beak has already been curved. Uh huh. So there are good good birds than this also. Mm -hmm. Better. Better birds than this also. See this color. The, but this color is a rare color. This color? Yeah. See this color. Yeah. Yeah, totally different. He's also paired beef. Tamil or? Tamil. Tamil. Yeah. So as we come downstairs, we have even more chickens here. So this is the incubation? No. no this is another farm. Just another farm. Wow, the colors on that one is amazing. Look at this. See? This is a good quality bird. You can see a big difference from the one upstairs. This one's really like a parrot beak. From this quality only, we have to say whether we have to choose good quality and the normal quality. Mm -hmm. so when you breed, brother, you know, everything you don't get in the top quality. Yeah. Like six, when you get six, seven chicks, like out of those four to five will be in extreme quality. Like some of them will be in medium quality. So it's not even 50%. Like not even 50% will be good quality. Yeah. It's even lower. No, yeah, yeah. Only two or three. From that one, we have to sell it. And uh, we have to sell them for a big price. Wow. We call him the black devil. Whoa! Look at his eyes. Oh my god. And his comb is stiff. Look at his comb. See, see, I, see I took his wife. Uh, so he wants the. He wants, he wants her back. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a car coming. So see, he starts coming around me. So these, these chickens, you guys will just breed these for fun. Yeah. There's no, no business behind this one. No, we like this color. It's full black. Even his meat, so, meat is also black. Can this chicken be bred with a parrot beak? Can. Can? Yes. What happens? Have you ever tried? We are trying on that. We have just... We are, wow. We are trying. We'll see. Ah. Okay, guys. Part two. In one year, I come back and we see the update. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you one bird. We have already breed one pa parrot beak with this? Yeah. Upstairs? No. We, we, 
we have it in the quarantine. <gasps> wow, I'm really excited. So that main question is, can you breed the chickens together no matter what their breed is? Any chicken can so breed? Like this. No, for example, if you cross a parrot beak with a kadaknar, uh -huh. that generation we have to again cross it with another. Same thing, we have to cross it with second generation. You understood? For example... So you have to... Okay, so for example, if you want to have... A successful baby yeah. you need to breed one pair of garaknath with paired beak yeah. and then you have to also breed another pair of garaknath with paired beak yeah. and breed huh? that chick we have to again cross it with a parrot beak again that kadaknath the chick which came you cross it with a parrot beak again a parrot beak chick will come again we have to cross it again you have to go like that you have to keep crossing with yeah. parrot beak until, three times you have to cross like that until three, until it gets a good beak i understand so it will take the color maybe of this chicken yeah and then the parrot beak. Yes. But can you can you crossbreed parrot beak with any chicken? Even with like a broiler chicken? Yeah, can. Yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the chickens I have in the Philippines, the silky chicken? You can, but you will not get good quality. When you cross original original parrot beak, parrot beak only, you will get good quality. When you crossbreed, they are sometimes their body appearance, sometimes the face. Something's wrong something with them. Wrong will happen. I understand. But it's like experiment, like you can... It's worth trying. Yeah. Wow. Very cool, I'm very excited to see. Okay, thanks bro. Okay, so now we're heading into their house. This is the family home. To see the incubator. Earlier I should have mentioned also the Sharfan and Charhan made us an amazing meal. Uh, there's only leftovers, I think, left now, but we ate like kings. <laughs> An amazing lunch here. Oh, wow. See, this is two days, three days chicks. Wow. So they look like a normal baby chicken. You can't even tell, really. After one month only, we will identify the good quality birds. Wow. So when they are small, right, you know? You can find whether it's parrot beak or not. How? So like it's very difficult to find. After, yeah, you would know. You don't know. No, after one month or half, like at least two weeks. After two weeks only. So, so Sharfan, you were explaining to me earlier that there's a way to check. The egg on the inside to see if there's a baby inside? Yes. Can you see? Can you see here? There's a dot. This one is the chicken? Yeah. Heart. This is the baby? Or this is just the yellow? Five days. Six. Eight days. Is it eight days? Eight days. So it's still very small. That's the chicken? Yeah, heart. Chicken heart. Like five days. Five days old. I saw it. What's up with this one? This one uh, is it old. Eighteen days chicks. 18 wow! Days so that's what it looks like. Yeah. So there's a chicken in there. Yeah, they're moving. Moving. Another two days, it'll come out. Oh, this one in two days will hatch. Oh yes. So it becomes. So it makes a wall around, uh, and that's blood, or is that like the body skin? Body skin. Body. Oh, so this one is more developed. Mm. So if you see this much black, you know you have a chicken inside. Yes. See, That's a chicken moving inside? Yes. Did you see here? Wow. That's a little baby chicken. <laughs> here. Yeah, there it is moving. It's moving here. Yeah. So all of these in a few days they will be mm. born. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can see it right there moving a lot. Yeah, boy. 
Wow. Eh? Ya. Wow. Last four days, we cannot turn the eggs. Last four days, don't, you yeah. just leave them? Leave them. And we increase the humidity. The humidity? Yeah. Then it will be easy for them to come out from the egg. Okay. These two, these two machines are fully automatic. Two, they're spinning? Spinning, yeah. We uh -huh. don't need to turn eggs. Uh -huh. Automatically, the uh, eggs rotate. They're spinning. That's manual one. We have to rotate in there. Uh -huh. These two, we don't have to rotate. So that's how it operates? Just like that. So you have to put only water, you know, as the humidity goes down, you have to put water. Mm -hmm. Wow. And how, how long on average? 21 days? You would, 21 days. 21 days, the chickens will sit in here, spinning, 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 until you have a chicken. You know, once they're six, seven days, you know, we check whether they're, it's fertile or not. If it is not fertile, we remove the eggs from the machine. Uh, and uh, only the fertile eggs we keep in the machine. After how many days you check? Four, five. After five days. Five days. After five days, not fertile, you remove them. Yeah. You take them out, you use them for something else. Yes. The eggs. And then, so this is 21 days. Finished in the 21 days, 22 days, you move them here. Yes. How long do they stay in this one? One week. One week? One week? Yes. And then go upstairs? No, no. After that, we move to another incubator. Oh, another incubator. Another incubator. Another brooder. Brooder, brooder, sorry. A brooder. Another brooder. I'll show you. Oh, okay. okay. So there's more. <laughs> This, the, the power of the heat is 60 watts. Uh -huh. When they, after one week, we reduce the power of the heat. Like 40 watts. We put a small bulb. This is to make sure that they survive. Yes. Because some chickens can just survive. Yeah. And maybe some of these will survive, but there's not a 100% guarantee because they're so expensive. Yeah. You have to make sure yeah. each chicken is given 100%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As soon as the, you know, as soon as the chicks come out, the first day we give them... Glucose, you know glucose, right? Yeah, like sugar. Yeah. Sugar, yeah. We give them glucose for their, for their stomach to get cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Second and third day, we give them as an antibiotic. Endofoxacin. You know, to get their intestine cleaned up. Mm -hmm. And third, fourth, fifth day, we, uh, sixth day, we give them the vitamin, vitamin, multivitamin. Mm -hmm. so, so we give them proper care, you know, to grow them properly. So they grow very fast. Okay, can we see that? So we're going across the house again now. <laughs> ah, it's where this one is upstairs. Other house, okay. 